Hey, everybody. Welcome to Thursday's fix em up I'm Mr. Getsky, as many of you probably are already aware of, because you're in my auto class. Got my trusty Ford cap on, and today we're going to fix up some cars, so that's kind of exciting. Um, what are we gonna What are we gonna see today? Well, uh, last stream we got a paint shop, which is kind of fun. Um, so we'll obviously we'll probably end up using that again. Um, the goal is to try to hit 7K, uh, so we can get some a little bit more sport cars, get some more money. I'm hoping tomorrow at 10 o'clock uh, stream we're actually able to go out and do a auto auction for um, picking up a car there and fixing that up. So. Ah, uh, all right. Less talking, more working. So let's go ahead and transition this over here. I'm gonna bring up my game, and there it is. Excellent. Actually, you know what? Let me set that stream up. All right, Car Mechanic Simulator. And of course, we have our loading screens of longevity. Just because this game is coming off of my hard disk drive. Not my solid state drive, but hey, you can you can do what you can do, right? Can't really complain too much. Oh alright. Gotta scratch my beard. In the meantime we can play with little little Lego guys. Just kidding, you guys don't care about that. My almost three-year-old son will, will care about that, though. All right, here we go. Uh, here's our maintenance shop. My goodness, I'm going to build one just like this in real life. Um, we got to get some skylights or something in our shop at the school. All right, let's see what we got up for today. We're going to make a phone call. All right, we have um, our little piccolo. Mayan M8. That sounds like a fun job. Let's go ahead and take that. I don't want to work on the little micro cars. Although, I mean, technically we could. We might, depending on how bad this Mayan car is. Alright. First off, do not like that paint job. Not a fan of the teal. Alright, what do we got on this? Oh boy, sloppy steering. Alright, so that's definitely going to be involved with some tie rod. Yep. Uh, general running gear, control and repair, poor brake performance, that seems to be standard on all these cars. Uh, gearbox problems, lovely. Uh, and then obviously we got to fix some body parts. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what's got here. We're going to move that over to our left lifter. And uh, we'll get this up and running as soon as we can. All right, let's do a quick little inspect. Ooh, looks like our front struts are garbage. Again, we've got our only ABS modules that tend to take a dive on these cars. All right, we'll pop that out. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and... Ah, you know what? Let's just get these tires off. We know we got some stuff under the car. Mm hmm. All right, frame rates don't drop me now. Okay, caliper. This is the main duty behind our braking. We got our brake pads. Okay, we're gonna take our tap uh, top hat off. Front coil spring. Of course, we can't take off our front coil spring yet. Oh, we gotta take off our. Sway bar and links before we take off our coil spring, apparently. Oh, whatever. Let's take the shock, go shock absorber, and there goes our front spring. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. Our steering rack right here looking a little bit rusty. So let's go ahead and Take off our outer tie rod. Take off our inner tie rod. Now, obviously, we can't get to this because we got to get to the other side. So, let's go. Ooh, boy, drop a couple frames there. All right, let's get to the other side here. All right. 
Ooh, this looks pretty bad. You can tell here that the caliper is worse for the weather. Brake pads are bad. This caliper bad. Ooh, we even got our front wheel hub that's not so good. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Obviously, this is much easier to take care of than what it would be in real life because rusty parts, not so great. Uh, tie rod, uh, so, no, excuse me, sway bar and link. So we got our sway bar, which I'm highlighting right here. Helps prevent the, the leaning force when cornering. Um, so now we're going to take off our front shock absorber. Okay, so McPherson strut set up. And we'll take off our coil spring. Okay, now we'll take off our outer tie rod end here. Our inner tie rod end. And that will allow us to take off our steering rack. Okay. Alright, let's take a cl closer look uh, inspection wise. See if we can see anything. Sight beyond sight. If any of you guys, kids from the 80s, can remember that reference. There's probably no kids in the 80s here. Yeah, at least my student wise. Alright, everything's looking eh, okay on the front here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our back. Uh, I see some stuff here that might need to get taken care of. Speaking of brake pads, yeah, Thundercats, right? <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right. Whoa. All right. 80s were the best, man. Well, at least our memory of the 80s were the best. Pretty sure if we went back to the 80s now, we'd, 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 there'd be a couple things we'd be missing. Oh, I can't take that off because we got a million and a half other pieces here. Alright, and then we got our end link here we got to take care of. And of course. Oh, lots of stuff here to take care of. This back end is a little more complicated than our other ones that we've normally have taken out. Okay, shock absorber. Oh, we're going to have to take out this bushing. That'll also get our rear suspension arm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hi, Marshall. How you doing? Here, come here. There's my three-year-old, like I was saying earlier. Yeah, I get you a little horsey. Here, here's your Legos. You want those back? Maybe? Oh, you can just... You gonna get him out? He's got a cape. Cape on. Okay. Pick that one up and then... Go find Bray Bray. She Check to see if she's done with her homework. Alright, anyway, back to <laughs> car stuff here. Yeah, this, def this car definitely needs everything. Although you should have seen the Bentley I was working on yesterday on this game. Holy cow. Alright, um, oh boy. Take that off. Okay. Yeah, to basically rebuild an entire engine on that car. And that's no exaggeration. All right, so that side looks pretty good. Now that we completely took that back end out. <laughs> what is up? All right. Take this guy out. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, all right. Bushing comes out. Rear suspension arm. Shock absorber. Another suspension arm. Okay. Let's swing over here. Hat, spring, cap. Another suspension arm. Take this guy off. 
All right, I guess we're taking all the suspension out of this thing. All right, and I still can't do that. I gotta take out that bushing. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, not too much I can get you on a grade wise for that. All right, uh, let's do a quick inspection. That's looking good as well. Okay, um, let's just take a look at our, oops, our order. So, um, there's a couple parts here that we still are gonna have to investigate. General running gear, sloppy steering, we got all that stuff for sure. Brakes, yep. Um, <laughs> find and fix all gearbox problems. All right, let's do that. Um, let's see here. I have to take off our drive line here. If it's gonna let me. Do I gonna have to pop off that exhaust here first? Probably. There we go. Alright, popping off those bolts. Okay, that's better. Now let's see if we can zoom up here. Still can't take that out. Probably got to top the starter. There we go. All right, here's the gearbox with our lovely invisible wrench of awesomeness. Wish we had this in the shop. Can't tell you how <laughs> easier that would be. Okay, if we come in here, it looks like our flywheel is a little bit rusty. All right, pressure plates out. Clutch plate is no more as well as our flywheel. All right, I think that took care of our gearbox problems. Yep. All right, obviously we got fixed body parts. We got front right door. I wonder if this is going to, yep, it's going to let me take that off. Front right door, just like that, magically off. Um, let's see what else we got. The hood, left headlight, red light, and trunk. Alright, headlights, whoa, headlight, hood, and of course, our trunk. Okay. Well, oh, good thing we're not at, this is not a chop shop simulator. <laughs> Okay, there's obviously some other pieces here that we need to get discovered. Um, general running gear control and repair. All right, well, we'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and take care of what we can take care of here first. So let's, uh, we're gonna buy some ABS modules. All right. Ooh, that's not cheap now, is it? All right, we can sell that and that. Okay, uh, brick caliper. Oh, we need two of those. Right? Yep, just two of those. Okay. All right, sorry, there's going to be a lot of back and forth here. I just want to get all my parts squared away before we start fixing some of this stuff. Brake pads, one, two, three, three brake pads. Wish we could order this stuff as fast as it is in real life. My goodness. All right, what's next? We got a front shock absorber and front spring. We need two front shock absorbers and one spring. Front spring, one of those. Oops. Front shock absorber, two of those. my other shock absorber there we go all right uh brake disc uh ventilated um 
Yep, just one of those. Kick disk ventilated. Oops, wrong button. Brick disk ventilated. Hundred bucks, just like that. Gone. All right, front wheel hub and steering rack. Let's do that. All right. Front wheel hub. Steer rack. And my steer rack go out last summer on my Toyota Sienna. I did not have the time or the capability to, at the time to, to replace that, so I had to take that in. That was that was not cheap. Alright, front wheel hub gone. Steering rack gone. Alright, we got an inner tie rod. Uh, let's see, is it just the one inner tie rod? Hard to say. I think it's just the one inner tie rod. Yeah, because there's another one. Okay, inner tie rod, sway bar, and link. Inner tie rod. Uh, sway bar and link. Or we just go end link. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, rear axle knuckle housing A. We need two of those. Rear axle knuckle housing. Rear axle knuckle housing. We need two of the A's. Alright, can sell that. And that. Okay, next we need a spring cap. Just the one. Oops. Scroll down here, get rid of that spring cap. Clutch plate and flywheel. Clutch plate. Fly, ooh. Flywheel. Right? That's, yeah. Sell and sell. All right, now we got our body parts. So right front door. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go buy and type in that uh, body parts shop. Did I spell that right? There we go. Okay, uh, right front door. We need the. Uh, oh, that's an M6. We need an M8, don't we? Yes. So we just spent some money that we didn't need to. Right front door. We need a hood. We need left headlight. We need the right headlight. And we need the trunk. Okay, let's uh, quick put some of the stuff back in. Whoops. Why is that doing that? All right. Look, perfect matching color. Like it was designed on purpose that way. Now we're gonna sell that. All right, we got all our body parts. So we can theoretically start putting things. Uh, Take things off, but we do want to figure out those two other missing parts. Which for whatever reason we're not being able to see on this right now. Bushing looks alright. Maybe we might have to take it on test path. Test path. No way of knowing. Um 
You know what? I'm going to pop this off. No, well, that looks good too. Hmm. Well, what do you guys think? Not seeing too much. And a relationship here. What is. And you get fixed. Huh. Right, because we come in here to this. Mm. Alright, let's go ahead and just put some stuff back on and we'll start figuring that out later. If it's going to let me get to the right camera angle. Of course it's not. <sighs> okay, well we'll move to the back end here. My goodness. Please? There we go. Alright, flywheel, new clutch plates, pressure plates. Alright, gearbox. There we go, come on computer. Alright. And for the almost impossible angle for draft shaft. There we go. A really long extension on that. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, then we can put our mufflers back on. Exhaust pipe in this case. Okay. So that should have fixed. Whoops. That. Yep. All right. Poor brake performance. That's putting that stuff on. Sloppy steering. Let's do this. Oh, come on, computer. All right, connecting our sway bar up to our suspension. Okay, let's get our wheel hub on here. Torque down to spec, obviously. New brake pads, whoops, getting that caliper back on. Okay, then we gotta come over here and get start getting our steer rack in place. Inner tie rod up with our outer tie rod. Obviously, whenever we're replacing suspension components, we wanna make sure we have an alignment. Not something I believe that we can do in this game, um, but something that we would definitely do in real life. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Front spring, shock absorber. Basically, wash, rinse, and repeat what we did on the other side here. Okay, top hat, brake pads, and our caliper. And of course, inner tie rod, outer tie rod, with our ball joint. Oh, what else are we missing here? Oh yeah, we got our wheel hubcap. There we go. Now we got our wheel. Okay. Now let's go have some fun in the back here. If I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Much better to see that. All right, rear suspension arm. Throw on our rubber bushing. And we'll 
we'll do our upper suspension arm. Okay, put on our rear end like there. Cool. Put in a bushing there. Shock absorber. It's gonna be great when we have to tear this all apart again and try to figure out what those last two component parts were. All right, there's one side done. And let's see if we can get in here to, ah, okay. There we go. Better angles. Let's start slapping everything on this thing. putting all this work on this car I think we're gonna have to race it just for science purposes right like taking the protege out on drive Okay, let's take a look at our inventory. There's nothing there. Cool. So that means we did most of the work here. And now we just got to figure out what else is wrong with this thing. Hmm. All the green parts are obviously things we just replaced. Huh. I don't see anything from an engine standpoint, at least externally. Alright, so if we take a look at this. Oh, we didn't put on our ABS system yet. Burp. There we go. Now we got ABS. Alright, so everything else looks good except for these two parts here. Faulty parts found. Well, let's move this over to our test path. Oh, well, it needs a starter. Yeah, we're just going to put a crank handle in it and just kind of start turning it like old school time, right? Of course, I'm not going to be able to see where this thing's at because that. Come on, I can see you. I just can't see you. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, now let's check inventory. Yeah, we don't need that door. All right, let's move it over to the test path. Maybe that'll give us some <sighs> diagnostics on what we can do with the vehicle. That's the dyno.
Press and hold the brakes. Uh, what's the brakes? Brake is an S. Move rear wheels onto brake tester. How far forward do I move? There we go. Press and hold the brake. Hmm. Move front wheels onto suspension tester. We got a little shaking here, boys. Okay, so two bad rubber bushings. I bet you those are the two components that we got that we need to obviously take a look at. So let's go ahead and move our car back over onto our left lifter. Let's see where those bushings are at. Man, I'm losing a lot of frames today, more than usual. All right, so if I go in inspection mode, Looks like that bushing there. Um, so let's take a look at this side real quick. Yeah, that's, that bushing's bad. That might be a bushing in the back too. If I can get to this without taking the tire off. Maybe. I can take that bushing off. There we go. All right. Ah, where am I looking? There we go. Uh, let's take a look at this one. There, that bushing. Okay. So again, I'm trying to get in here so I can remove that. Beautiful. All right, so just a rubber bushing. I can get behind that. Let's go into here. Oh, we want car parts. A rubber bushing. Okay, time to install that. If I can, please. Probably gotta hit the right buttons. There we go. All right, there's that one. And of course, that one. Perfect, all right, now we're ready to rock and roll, baby. All right, while that's loading, let's go ahead and sell that stuff. And of course, Everything's green to go. We get 10K for that. All right, I'm done with that. That brings us our total up to 34K. And this is a perfect time for our ASE study break. So, if you're new to the channel or you're just kind of tuning in here for the first time, what we do here is kind of mid midway through our stream, we have a ASE study break. Uh, Automotive Service Excellence does not sponsor this, but, um, if we were back at school, we would be having our ASC entry level certification G1 test um, for our Auto 2 students. So this is just kind of a, a way to incorporate some of the ASC entry level um, test questions, or at least a sampling of, of some type of questions that would be seen on that test uh, to help better prepare you for that. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that this year because of obvious reasons. But we can still kind of learn from that. So today's uh, test question, super crazy simple, because it's based off of some information we shared with you on Monday's presentation, which you can find at my YouTube channel, 
If you have not yet viewed that, there is an assignment on Google Classroom, so check that out. It's on safety restraint systems, mostly about airbags and seat belts. But there's obviously a lot of different smaller components that help support that. So anyways, let's go ahead and read. All of the following are found in motor vehicles, except one of these. Okay, so uh, four options. Option A, rear seat airbags. Hmm, is that a thing? B, knee airbags. Hmm, interesting. C, side airbags. Why would you need side airbags? D, window airbags. Why would windows need airbags? I mean, after all, isn't stuff here to protect you and not necessarily the car? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Stroke the goatee of knowledge <laughs> for, for that sort of stuff. All right, so what is gonna be our ASC study question? Let's go ahead, I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna get into my cloud bot, so give me a moment. Uh, as soon as this pops up, we're gonna go ahead and get into our poll, and we're gonna go ahead and open that up. So, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is type in your answer with uh, exclamation vote, and then A, B, C, or D, which one you think is the correct answer to our test question. Which of these four options is not found in a motor vehicle? Hmm, what could it end up being? So anyways, we'll give you about a minute here to kind of take care of that. And then we're gonna close that poll and we're gonna give you the right answer. So pretty cool stuff. All right, checking out the lovely text messages and answers that I got. Oh, yes. Other than that, it's a nice rainy Thursday. Not much to do outside. The fun little uh, personal project I got done yesterday, I was able to light up the gar uh, my garage lights. Um, or not light up my garage lights, replace my garage lights. I only had a single bulb in my garage. Now I have 12 lights in my garage, and I'm telling you what, it is like night and day in there. Literally. I'm able to turn on the lights and actually see stuff in the garage. I also, when we originally bought the house, did not come with a garage door opener, so we had one installed. Uh, but we've been running an extension cord because we only had the one outlet in our garage, so ended up wiring up an outlet right by the garage door. So, uh, super happy that project's done. I've been going kind of stir crazy during this quarantine. Um, yeah, right? All right, I'm going <laughs> to... Um, everything's the love about this stream, right? It's pretty fun. <laughs> I, I am enjoying myself. I'm getting to learn how to use kind of the streaming stuff. And uh, you know what? I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit of this during the summer as well because I might get bored some days. All right, anyways, uh, here we got our ASC study break. I'm going to go ahead and close that poll up. All right, let's get go ahead and get back into our... Test question here. All right, so all of the following are found in motor vehicles except for A, rear seat airbags, B, knee airbags, C, side airbags, or D, window airbags. The correct answer is B, knee airbags. Um, now there are knee diverters, which is placed typically on your dash, and that's just to help prevent you from sliding underneath airbags when they're deployed. Um, but rear seat airbags, side airbags, and window airbags are stuff that we're starting to see pretty common in a lot of vehicles, right? Uh, just, and the idea behind the airbag is just to help prevent you from moving around, protect the ca uh, occupants in the, in the passenger cabin or compartment uh, during a motor uh, vehicle crash. Again, help slow down that deacceleration, which is going to cause most of their bodily harm. Um, so anyways, uh, hopefully you guys picked up a little bit on that. And again, for more information, check out that video on YouTube where we kind of get into that stuff. All right, let's get back to our game. After all, that is probably why you are here, right? Not necessarily because of my beautiful face. Well, at least I, I hope it's not. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and quick save it, so that way if we do lose any information, we're not out. All right, here are a couple of the vehicles. Ooh, we haven't worked on something like this before. Miovini Urs. Let's go ahead and take that quick. It looks like it's just kind of body parts, so might actually be able to use our spray booth for a second time today, which is 
Exciting. Oh, that is a bright blue. So what is this supposed to end up being? Ford? Honda? Interesting. Alright, let's take a look. So lots of body parts. Spray it the factory color. Excellent. We are definitely using that. You can tell here right now too that that paint job, I hope it shows up on stream, not quite as shiny as it should be. So um, because it's body panels, I don't think we're going to have to move this. Front left fender, left headlight. Okay, front left fender. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Left headlight, rear bumper. Left headlight, uh, a rear bumper, um, rear left door, right headlight, right tail light, what was that? Rear, right headlight, right tail light, trunk. Okay, let's get our trunk in here. Whoa, what happened to the trunk? Did we already take that off? Must have. Okay, let's go ahead and purchase some of this stuff. Uh, we're going to get... Ooh, that, yep, that's what we want. So what's the name of this car? Um, it is Mioveni. Mioveni. I don't think I'm going to type that in right. Mioveni. Hey, there it is. Okay, uh, what do we need to do on the Mio Veni? Um, okay, so I'm gonna sell that because we obviously don't need that. Front left fender, trunk, front left fender. Um, let's see, front left fender. Uh, let's see, we got our trunk, right tail light. Was it the left headlight? I want to say it's the left headlight. Okay, let's see how we did here so far. Okay, yep. Trunk. Uh, left headlight. Uh, all right, right headlight. We already got our tail light. And rear left door. Okay, right headlight. Rear left door. Okay. That means we can go ahead and put this stuff back on. Oh, so shiny. So new. Okay. Rear bumper. Yeah, we need to buy that. Rear bumper. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that then. And now we're off to the paint shop. So again, let's take, just take a quick look here. Seems kind of nice, right? We're gonna move that to the paint shop. We're gonna go ahead and go in here. And of course we wanna choose the factory color. $500 for the paint job, wait for it. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That a nice shiny. Today's theme is blue, baby. I like it. All right, back to the garage. Yeah. Okay, I know you guys want to go do it. Let's go drag race it. Not that this is a very impressive car to drag race, but uh, you gotta test it out, right? I mean, after all, we are scientists. <laughs> all right, don't mind the long uh, load screen here. Once again, we will get that up and running. I am probably gonna have to do a little bit of a shorter stream today because we do have a virtual staff meeting that I'm gonna have to go to um, closer to three o'clock. So um, we'll see if we can get in one more fix here, but we are gonna have a little bit of fun while we're playing this video game. So, good stuff. <clears throat> okay, there we go, okay. 
So we're gonna accelerate to get going and gear up or gear down as P or O. Come on, baby. Yeah. I think our record is like 15 seconds. mile 16.864 it's not horrible for this kind of car let's do one more or why does it got a load we are already there so our goal is to get that car we, we got to buy that car at auction and we're gonna have to fix it up then we'll go test drive it because we're gonna add some performance parts to that baby I don't know what that what what performance parts we have available to us in this game, but Daddy wants a supercharger. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can beat our time. Well, we started off in second gear. Not quite the launch I wanted. So we just redline it. There we go. All right, 30, okay, 33 seconds. That's what we're kind of looking at for 1,000 meter. Oh, all right, 18 second quarter, 11 second eighth, 0 hundreds, 12. Is that? That's about right. All right, let's get back to our garage. That was fun. Although they do have a little quasi, like, actual test track to drive around. Oh, it's more just a couple buildings, but yeah, it's kind of fun. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, fun. I always good to get text messages. There we go. All right. So, tested out that paint job. I think that paint job passed. Oh, we don't want to move it. We want to sell that for a quick three grand. Beautiful. All right, we got 36K. Um, since we are going to end the stream a little early, let's go ahead and go to that car auction and uh, see kind of what that's all about. You need to buy parking first to store your car collection. Oh. Well then, I got. How do you buy parking? Um. All right, we got that stuff. Oh yeah, I bet you we gotta do this because it's got parking. Nine thousand XP. <laughs> My goodness, we got only about six k. <sighs> All right, so I guess we're gonna have to work hard to try to get this thing up to nine k XP. So we can buy some auto auction stuff. Ooh, looks like a little Corvette. Let's take go ahead and take that. I'm never gonna turn down working on a Corvette, especially if it's a C8. Ooh, baby. Oh, that color can change though. I'll tell you what that is. What a nice car. All right, let's get that over to the left. And let's take a look and see what we got going on in this bad boy. Engine power has failed. Oh, that's not good. We got to get an LS swap on this thing. General running gear. Okay, lots of different stuff here. Let's get under this hood. Oh, wow, yeah. That was, 
There's a few things here that we need to take care of. Uh, we're going to start out with the air filter. Get that out. Just a single four barrel carb. You would think this thing would be running on fuel injection. Now that would be kind of fun to, to have in a game like this to uh, swap out cars for fuel injection. Of course, got to take these clips off. Uh, there goes our distributor. We definitely gonna have some stuff on our suspension. Get our fan out. I'm gonna take our radiator out too because that's gonna get in the way. All right, serpentine belts. Uh, let's pop off that alternator. Man, none of this stuff looks like it's in good condition. What is this, a barn find? Holy cow. How's our water pump going? Alright, timing chain. Let's take that cam out. Valve cover. Come on, mouse. There you go. Alright, looking at this. Doesn't look horrible. Rocker arms out, now we got our push rods. Okay, that's out. Let's get our header off on this. There. Cylinder heads. Pistons look all right. We're, we're going to take everything out of this thing. We're doing a whole off frame construction. Zooming in and zooming out. My goodness, you guys dizzy yet? There we go, that's better. looks pretty decent. Um, I'll pop that fuel filter off. All right, well, there goes our engine bay. Close that down. Raise that up. I'd say about five more minutes. Let's see how much damage we can do in five more minutes. Uh, for sure. We're going to pop these exhaust pipes. Okay. Uh, we got a whole lot of suspension to take care of. Ooh, baby. This is looking 
ugly. Get that upper control arm out of here. Alright. Oh, I gotta take out the lower control arm then. Nope. Yeah, I bet you we gotta tie it right in. Yep. Alright. How's that bushing looking? I don't see any damage on that, but could be wrong. Alright, let's go on the other side. Now, you might be asking yourself, Mr. Getsky, can you take this car apart in five minutes in real life? The answer is yes, absolutely I can. <laughs> Just depends on what kind of pneumatic gun you got. <laughs> or how fast you're going over the cliff. <laughs> that's a joke, because that's like driving off a cliff destroys everything. Just in case you were wondering. All right. There we go. Alright, take that guy out. Alright, take the top one out. Oh, keep forgetting that tie rod end. There it is. Outer tie rod. Okay. Oh, I think these bushings are not looking so hot either. We're going to pop those out. Honestly, we should probably just take the whole subframe out. Alright, and of course we got this guy needs to come out. Uh, might as well get these leaf spring U bolts. Yeah, this is definitely a complete deconstruction on this beast. Okay, tires need to come off as well. Drum brakes. That's not looking horrible. That's looking horrible though. Okay, let's run on the other side here. Ouch. Okay. Shock absorber definitely is out. Alright, it's a little rusty, but honestly, not horrible, horrible. Alright, let's take a quick look, see if we grabbed everything in our checklist here. So, engine powers failed, yep. Uh, we got that whole list, that whole list, that whole list. Alright, we got everything taken off that we need to take off. At least in regards to what the ailment is. So, with that said, let's go ahead and quick save it. And I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up the stream right now, right here. Um, however, you won't have to wait long because we're going to come back to this game and put everything back together again with newer parts. Maybe we'll take this one on a little drag ride as well. Um, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. So in a, in a couple hours. So uh, have some fun this, this evening. Um, have a good night's rest. Come back tomorrow morning, and we'll take care of Mr. Corvette. Until then, uh, we'll have we'll have you guys uh, stay sharp and stay healthy. Um, again, uh, if you need any questions or comments, contact me on Google, Google Classroom, um, or you can shoot me an email. 
Um, or if you really are in a pinch, you can always throw up a direct message on Instagram um, if you can find me on there. All right. Until then, you guys have a good one. And thanks for joining and watching in. Later.